Okay, now I'm going to do a proceeds problem. A little bit different, a little different equation that you're going to use. So I'm going to find the proceeds on $12,000 discounted at 7.09% for 145 days. There you see the answer, 11,662. So to do that, I'm going to have to switch my equations because in my calculator, the proceeds equation is right here in Y9. So once again, you can stop the video and type in Y9, my Y9, into your Y9 if you want. This is the proceeds equation. Notice it's different. It's got a minus sign in here. And the roles of the maturity value and the principal have been re reversed so that this is the maturity value and now this is the proceeds, P. Okay, here I go. Remember, I do math. I do math. And then I scroll up to get to the solver, and I press Enter. And to change my equation, I scroll up until I get back to this window where it says 0 equals, and I replace it with the equation of interest. So that's VARS, Y VARS, function, and here it is, Y9. And notice how it's a little bit different. The A's on the top. That's a good sign. Okay. So I have a final value of $12,000. I have an interest rate of 7.09. That's 0 .0709. Uh, it's for 145 days, so I have 145 divided by uh, 365. And then finally, I have my proceeds, and I do alpha, alpha, enter, alpha, solve and I get 116201, 116621, more or less to the penny.